Oh, oh, lens cap. <laughs> I think I'm the queen of weird lighting at this point. Like, I don't know, my house is just very dark. I am heading down to the barn and I figured I would take you guys with me and do a quick barn tour because there have been a lot of updates since my last barn tour and all sorts of fun things that you guys have requested to see lately. So yeah, I have my pizza rolls. Now let's roll. I hate myself. <laughs> well, first things first because I have to get my sunglasses. Uh, peep the new truck. Finally got me a truck that I can haul with. I had to sell my beloved 4Runner, but she'll do the job. We just have to put the hitch in the back. Okay, scratch that. Left my sunglasses in the house and I'm too lazy to get them. I'll just squint. Obviously, normally I do not walk down to the barn because I'm not an in-shape person. Uh, walking is not my jam. So normally I take the cart down, but I have to pull Tide's blanket and uh, bring Diesel in. So, and it's a nice day out. So you know what? I am an in-shape person today. But this right here is Tide's pasture. We'll more, more than likely be adding some more horses to it pretty soon. Come here, baby. Let me pull you a banky. Tide is a border that belongs to Raina. Her Instagram is xpassion. Come here, honey. So this right here is Diesel's pasture. And then the driveway goes all the way up to the barn up there. <laughs> Come on. Hi. Get you a big doggo that comes when he's called. Here is a pasture that we don't put any horses in just now. Um, simply because this fence is a little bit low and it wouldn't be too difficult for someone to jump over it. <laughs> um, but this is the arena pasture. And the round pen is over here. And here's Diesel. Oh goodness, you're a little close, dude. Okay, so I put Diesel in his stall for just a second while I go pull Foxy's blanket because he wasn't up earlier for me to pull it because he's, you know, on his own time. But this is our other pasture, so you can kind of see it goes. So there's this pasture and then they have access to, you can't even see it, I don't know why I'm pointing this out, but there's a pasture in the middle which all these guys have access to and then that last pasture is tied. So it really just wraps around here. And here come the boys. Are you guys best friends? Look at these little best friends. Yeah. Hi, honeys. Honey, Hannah Bunches. Hi, baby. Can I have your blankie? Oh my goodness, you guys are adorable. So that's the back of the barn. The third horse is in there. He's a boarder. You can kind of see his little nosy poking out. But they have four stalls to run in. There's only three horses out here for now. Um, their little round bale, hay hut thingy, madoo hooker, um, and of course Foxy. Can't remember if I mentioned this before, but there's the round pen. It doesn't really get used anymore because the footing's not super great. Um, arena, and yeah, there's the old guy's pasture, random chicken coop, which we now have chicks in. I don't know, it's my mom's business. And then this is the wash stall, which is probably our newest addition, I would say. Um, it's got the hot and cold water heater, which I love, love, love. Um, oh, there's the heater. That was the propane tank. I'm sorry. I'm not even watching my screen. Um, and just a little cross size. Pretty simple setup. Um, but yeah, it's been super useful. Alright, so here's the front of the barn. And these lights are pretty new. We replaced the little bulbs that kept going out with these wonderful things. And it feels like I'm in surgery in here. It's so bright. Um, here is Ellie's stall. And he has one of those run-in stalls on the back. And his blankies. Um, I just put up I actually got these hooks from like the bike section of Walmart and um, hang blankets on them. It's super easy and convenient. Um, this is just an extra stall we have right now that has Diesel's blankets hanging on it <laughs> because he has a lot of blankets. And Foxy's stall and his blankets and Diesel's stall and his blankets. And he's currently tied up because we're about to ride. But there he is looking like a snack as always. And he keeps erasing my little whiteboard, but it's fine. This used to be Elliot's stall, and um, I had his very specific speed instructions on the whiteboard. And the barn mo mascot, Barney. Hi, baby. Yes, we named him Barney because he is a barn cat. It's actually my mom's idea. I blame her. And he was born without that tail before anybody says, Why'd you cut it off? He is a Manx cat. Yes, you are, and he's very needy. All right. Oh, I don't know if I mentioned this already, but the cement is new. Um, I can't remember exactly when we put it in, but it has been a blessing. I apologize for Barney screaming, he really just doesn't stop. Um, and here is the tack room, which still needs some organization. As you can see, I have some unrolled polos, some rolled polos that I have to put away. 
Um, I'm a mess, basically. Um, my little laundry basket of sorts of stuff that has to go up to the house to be washed. And there's a truck about to go by, so it's about to be really loud. Um, my random box of randoms, my standing wraps, and Nobo quilts. Um, on this side I keep my patterned English pads and my one work pad, because, you know, whatever. Um, and there goes the truck. And on the back wall I have my solid English pads along with my Fleeceworks half pad that I love, which it actually has thin line inserts, so it's kind of a combo. It's fine. Um, here's a new addition, kind of, um, a little mini fridge, and we don't really know where we're going to put it. We have to find somewhere that we're going to plug it in. It's not plugged in yet, but, you know, it exists, which is a win. My polo buckets, which are extremely unorganized, and I have to add another one, too, which I hate to admit. Um, on here I keep my English bridles. This is my show bridle. This is from CNC Signature. Um, I will link their stuff below. I love this thing. It is super high quality for not an insane price. And I just love the look of it. And then my long reins I got used. Everybody asked me where I get these and I got them used. But I think you can get them from sstack.com. And western bridles and like training type things. Um, and then I have extra bits in here. And like training equipment and spurs in here. My helmet. All of my um, ear bonnets. And in here, this is like some old locker thing that my dad had. I don't even know. But it's, ugh, if I can open it, it's got like fly stuff for the summer. Basically just a bunch of storage. Um, yeah, and then this is my show bucket, which I honestly don't know what's in here. Um, it's just like a bunch of show stuff, like show sheen. Um, I don't even know. Bathing equipment. Random things that I have no idea. Um, my tall boots are there in the corner. I don't really know why. And my English saddle, which is a Pessoa. Don't even know what model it is. I bought it like two years ago, I think, um, but yeah. A couple of these are ones on consignment or for sale, and uh, this one is my personal work saddle, which is a Billy Cook. Um, I think that's it in here. I also wanted to add on that note, peep the Millbrook leathers. Um, a lot of people have asked me about my consignment work since my last video um, and where I post those things. I'm not active on Tack Hunter anymore, so if you're purchasing things on my Tack Hunter, I'm not seeing it. Um, and I, I don't know where half of those things are. I don't know if they're sold. I can't get off of the app for some reason. And it just keeps, I keep having to like contact them and be like, look, I don't have this item anymore, but I can't delete it, blah, blah, blah. So that's been a, been a big thing. Um, it's just, I got too busy to keep up with it. But anyways, um, I don't have all my consignment stuff posted right now because I be, I'll be taking it all to the equestrian exchange, uh, next weekend. So I don't want to get all Barney, messed up with what I do and don't have. Um, anything that I bring home from the equestrian exchange, I'll be, be sure to make a big post about, um, what I have for sale. But the biggest problem now is a lot of my stuff I have on consignment is too big to ship. So I have a lot of saddles and everything. So I don't really post it publicly. I just post it locally. So I hope that answers your question. My braiding stand really shouldn't be there. I don't know why it's there, but it's fine. Um, my grooming things. I'm a little bit of a freak and I like to have different grooming tools for every horse. So everything is color coded. This is Diesel's thing because I use that the most. Um, cat food. My Fat Max has all like medications and treatments and stuff in it. Um, yeah, all my goodies up here. My Sport Horse Essentials, which I'll put my code for a discount in the bio. Or in the bio, excuse me, the description. Um, my very, 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 very favorite detangler. Um, liniment. What else is in here? Fly repellent wipes. I love these. I use these for their face. Cookies, of course. I just got this little container from Walmart, I think, and I love it. Uh, the only thing I don't like about it is it's glass, so if it ever falls off, I'm kind of screwed, but I couldn't find a plastic one. And, of course, my essential speaker, because I have some major jam sashes in here. Uh, next up is the feed room. Super exciting stuff. Um, I need to pull more hay down, but I normally keep six bales here. Um, every bucket here has a different kind of grain for the horses. I honestly don't know where all the buckets went. <laughs> I fed this morning in a rush on my way to school, and I think I spewed them all over the barn. I don't know where they went. Um, my feeding chart for when my parents have to feed for me. Um, yeah, supplements, all those goodies I just put on this little shelf here. This has alfalfa in it, and this has beet pulp in it, and my trash bucket, yay. Uh, cat food, uh, what are these? Cow food, we have cows up at the front, but it was irrelevant. Um, 
blanket wall for blankets that I either don't use or don't have a horse for or any of that nonsense, but I'm too attached to throw them away or sell them. Um, but yeah, there's the feed room. Pretty simple stuff. And peep the Equine Omega Complete. <laughs> I will put that code in my description as well. Out the other side of the barn is, of course, that back pasture again. And I'll show you guys what the barn looks like from the other side. And there's a front porch. The front porch just has, we keep round bales and like the tractor out there. It's, oh, and the lawnmower. <laughs> yeah, very exciting. I feel like this is a super simple video and I wish I could put more into it. Or I wish I knew what else to put into it, but it's been highly requested. So I hope this is sufficient and you guys found it interesting of some sort. I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm hoping to do a, another Meet My Horses video because that's been requested a lot lately now that I have Diesel. And what is on my shirt? Has that been there the whole time? I don't know. But this is also an Equestrian Bliss Creation shirt. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah. I hope this was a good video for you guys. And I will try to upload that Meet My Horses one soon. And yeah, like my little sign said, we should be hopefully showing in 19 days. I don't know how that's going to go because it's been raining so much, but um, hopefully that will be a thing. So keep an eye out on my Instagram to keep in touch and I will see you guys on the flip side.